Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo, and uh, this is Hyper Light Drifter, um, a new game that's come out on Steam a little while ago. I ran the trailer in my news videos uh, not all that long ago. We'll uh, give ourselves a name. Uh, I know a little bit about this game. I know that it's a Zelda-ish uh, kind of game, um, and I know that it is fairly new. Um, but it has been developed for a long time, so uh, I also know that it has a really crazy opening cutscene, which uh, I'll talk over a little bit because there's not a lot of dialogue, but um, it does have some amazing music and also some pretty crazy colour banding going on there. But, uh, maybe that's my video settings? Not sure. So we'll see how we go anyway. I'll let this cutscene play out and I'll stop talking while it happens. Okay, well, uh, that's certainly a thing that happened to us. Um, so, I'm wondering uh, somewhat too if I should... Uh, if I should um, make this into a Let's Play or not. Oh, okay, so... Obviously, I have to use the analog stick for movement. The D-pad won't do for movement at all. It just makes uh, the main character sit down. I'm not entirely sure if the main character is male or female, actually. Um, and I'm not sure that matters um, in a lot of ways. I actually kind of like that the character has this very sort of androgynous look about them. Um, but I, 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 I think in what I've seen, I feel like it should be female, but I've heard other players refer to it as a male, so... Whatever it is, they are. Let's use they as the uh, non-gender specific first person, second person pronoun. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that. Sorry, I'm just, uh, my phone just very momentarily distracted me. I apologise for that. Um, it won't happen again. Okay, so use LB to heal. I don't think I need heal just yet, but we can do that. Uh, so we'll come down here. Oh, there is actually analogue movement. Like, move fast or slow. And there is this, too. This is sort of the game's main thing, is this dash. Um, then we've got that, and... Oh, I don't know what that was. Whatever it was, it didn't do anything. And then 
Ah, that, that was our heal, so I just kind of wasted that heal that I shouldn't have wasted. Um, and also, Y is our interact button, so that's good, I guess. So we go down this lift. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a Let's Play series. I, I intended to make this video as a first play of the game, so nothing over that way. Um, a sort of, I play this game for the first time type thing, which I do videos occasionally like that. Oh, that went well. um, and I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to make this into a... Oh man, that's what I want to do. That's right. Okay, so I've got to get used to the, the control. So it's X is the sword. Looks like we don't have a slash, and then A is the dash. So dash into that guy, and do that. Yeah, okay. Whoa. God, it feels really good, too. That combat is freaking fantastic. Um, so, I just have to get used to that. Hang on, I feel like... Oh, no, that... No, okay. Combat is so nice. Um, whoa! Okay. So, don't do that. Ah, that's what we had to, we had to hit it. Is, is that a thing we can do there? No. Okay, it's just a light. Oh, just curious. Um, press Y to ping the hard. Ah, okay, so we're not doing anything else that pings the hard. Okay, that, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. And up here, and we'll pick that up. Okay, okay, that opens the door. That's not a thing we pick up. That's a door we open. Alright then. Um, okay, that's... Oh, 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 that was neat. Can I do that again? It was like climbing up. Ooh, things did not go well for this guy, did they? Um... Ooh, is that a gun? Did we get a gun? Uh, we, we got something, that's for sure. Oh, oh, okay, so... Ah, hang on, yep, that, that's a gun. That's definitely a gun. Okay, so... Left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot. Right, okay, cool. This, as far as I know, this game isn't really a sort of shooting gun type game, but uh, certainly so far playing out like that. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Rip these things apart, smash everything in. Love the environmental destruction too. Uh, slash enemies and objects to charge guns. Ah, okay, cool. So that's how that works. Uh, okay, aim. Try not to hit these things twice, because that goes badly for us, uh, as I discovered. Oh. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, so, yeah, you can. Is that actually taking the bridge away, or is it just regenerating? It's just regenerating it. Okay, cool. So, oh no, it made it go away. Okay, that's fine. So, as I said, um, I was intending this to be like a plays this game for the first time type video. Sure, hit then. Um, I think you got to really learn to use that dash defensively as well. Um, but yeah, so, uh, pick that up, because I'm gonna need it, I think. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Gotta remember not to do that, so. Okay, and our gun replenishes ammo based on our ability to slash, so that's cool. Oh, that's a mean looking thing. Can we interact with that? No. Okay. Um, the other cool thing about this game, as far as I can tell, I'm don't seem to be able to oh, go this way anyway. Yep. Um, the other cool thing about this game, I think, is just the way it looks. God, it looks so good. Oh man, it looks good. Um, like, I, I guess I'm, like a lot of people, I guess I'm a little bit over the whole... Uh, I don't know what happened there, but it didn't seem to be good, so let's not do that again. I think I fell off the edge, actually. Um, I Like a lot of people, I'm kind of over the whole sort of, you know, pixel art, indie indie game thing, you know, the, the retro style graphics, but when it's done this well, then I am 100% on board, because this looks amazing. And it's not just that it's, you know, pixel art, it's that they've, you when you do that kind of thing, the big problem I have with a lot of games we just sort of Zelda about here, can I attack the birds? No, okay. The big problem I think I have a lot with a lot of those games is that often they're trying to recreate the style of a classic, you know, 8-bit game. So they're trying to look like Mega Man or they're trying to look like Zelda or they're often trying to look like the Final Fantasy games if they're more an adventure role-playing type thing. Um, they often don't have a, a sort of distinctive visual style of their own that sets them apart from those other types of games. This has a distinctive visual style that sets it apart. It does not look like the kind of game you would ever have got on a Super Nintendo. Like, this, this game looks like it could have run on a Super Nintendo, certainly Super Nintendo, not an NES. These graphics are a bit too colourful for an NES, and the sprite detail is a bit too much. 
Um, and that is beautiful. That's properly beautiful. But more importantly than that, like, this is... No one in the NES era made games that look like this. Like, it was possible to make... Well, not NES, Super Nintendo. It was possible to make games that look like this to an extent, but the artistic style that was in use at the time was never like this. This is an artistic style that sort of evolved since that time. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, we are not well. And something is going on in this area, and it's actually running a little bit, um... I've been watching, uh, a Let's Play... Oh, oh, did I die? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that, that's not a thing. Um, oh, oh, oh. Right. I've been watching, um... Twilight Princess, a Let's Play of Twilight Princess lately, which is a game I played back in the day, and I sort of wanted to relive it a little bit without actually playing it myself, because I don't have anything set up I can play it on at the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah. Can I just get up? What do I do? Do I just wait? I just wait. That's a cutscene. Okay. Um, and that, that, the, what was going on there reminded me a little bit of the sort of the shadow areas in Twilight Princess, how there's all these little bits of black flying around the screen and stuff. Um... Oh, I'm in bed. Okay, so something's playing out here. Yep. But the other thing this game does have is a, a very... Um, it's hard to explain the art style. Like, it looks like a super high-definition version of what you might have seen on... So imagine Atari made, like, an Atari 2600 that wasn't, like, terrible. I mean, the Atari 2600 isn't crap, but it's a product of its time. But imagine they developed the technology over the years to the point where there was like a 16-bit Atari 2600. And I feel like this is what that might have looked like. Um, let's that up. Yep. And we have a map. I press the back button, I can view... Oh, ooh, that's a nice looking map. That's not something you could get on a Super Nintendo. That's smooth scrolling. Well, you could, but it's not something you would get on a Super Nintendo. Um, but yeah, imagine like a, an Atari 2600, but with like a Motorola 68000 in it. So this is the world, is it? This is the whole world? And I can zoom out. Oh, wow. That, that actually does look very Mario Brothers in its own sort of way. I mean, not in a bad way. Um, I've always loved the map in Super Mario World, actually. It's one of my favourite. When, when I was um, a kid, I used to try and sim emulate that drawing style of that map. So I'd draw like my own world maps that use that kind of uh, art style. So... Yeah? Hang on. Do, what, what, what's going on there? I press this, and it just says B, A, and then there's like this, all this graph. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to actually be achieving with this, but... We'll run with it. It looks like, it looks like it's just there for looks. So we'll, we'll run with that. And what's here? Ah, that's the door out. Was there anything else here I should be looking at? My little companion guy keeps going to that thing, and it keeps bothering me. But I think maybe that's all it does. I don't think it's doing anything else. Um, anyway, so... As I was saying... Oh, we can slash them. Oh, we can... Haha, <laughs> can break the mirror. <laughs> that, that's cool. That's actually really nifty. Um, I like that. Okay, so we've got this little companion guy who... Seems really interested in us looking at this, but... I think we've looked at it all we can. I think it's explaining something to us. There's like a thing we need to do. Uh, I think I know what's explaining. So there are these things and we need to go there and we need to collect things and we need to do things. So it's basically telling us what we've got to do in the game. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I figured that out now. Um, okay, so there's that there. That's some kind of teleporter. And I don't seem to be able to go anywhere else. So I'm sort of stuck here unless... Unless... I can... No, I can't. Okay, so we have to go here. So do that and that. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, hang on a second. I think I know what this is because I watched uh, a video where this happened. Uh, I, I've watched some video of this game, but ah, uh, yeah, warp here anytime using the map. Um, but not a lot. So I've got some idea, a little bit of what to do at the start, but I've sort of decided to keep myself away from as much because I didn't want to spoil anything further. Because like I said, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a full Let's Play of this, or if this is going to be the only video. Like, I, this was meant to be a, plays this game for the first time, so it's going to be like my first impressions and what I feel like it. So I'm guessing these are shops that sell things. Probably don't have much money, but we'll, we'll have a look. So, okay, so that's... 
it appears as though I can't afford it, and I, I'm, th there's a lot of, um, interpretation going on in this user interface, I think is the best way to say it, and some of that is to do with, I think I need three of these things to buy one of these things, is what is going on there, so we'll back out of there, because I can't actually afford anything, that's some kind of sword master person, um, so we'll go across here, um, and I'm guessing I don't have anything for this guy either, so I'm assuming it's the same stuff, yeah, so... Whatever it is, it's currency and we need to collect it, but there's also... what's this? They light up. It's possible that this is useless to us right now, though. It's possible I'm exploring too much and, uh, not figuring stuff out, so we'll go... go this way. Um, this is obviously some kind of town. Uh, so I imagine, can we talk to NPCs? Hmm. No, we can't talk to him. Can we talk to this guy? Uh-huh. Okay, so, uh... I guess people in this game... ...don't use words. This game is not a game about words. This is a game about... ...things. Does this guy actually have anything to say then? Because I couldn't... Yeah, he does. He's he's indicating. Oh no, he's just making noise. That's all it is. It's noise. Okay, so the controller vibrates when I step on that. Um, I think that's because that's one of those important magical places. Can I slash that? No, I'm in town. I can't slash anything in town. Uh, this is a place that I imagine sells things. Yeah. Okay. So it's got the same thing going on, but it only requires two of the the, the things that you need to buy things. Currency items. Does that guy say anything? No, nope, that guy is... What is that guy? What the hell is that guy? What about you? What do you say? You just make noise. You're a fox-like thing. You know, the other game this game reminds me of a little bit visually is uh, Cave Story. And the other thing it reminds me of in regards to Cave Story is this game reminds me a hell of a lot of the visual style in Cave Story. There's a dog over there. Can we follow that dog? Where's that dog going? Let's see where the dog goes. The dog goes this way, but I'm not sure that means we should go this way. Well, the dog went away, so, uh, okay. So we're in an area where we can use our sword and there are enemies that die pretty quickly, so I feel like we might have been going the right way. Oh, I killed the skeleton. Oh, wow. You know what else this is reminding of with the, these kind of guys? Um, and in fact, the intro reminded me a little bit of one as well. Oh, uh, okay, 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 I got it, I figured it out. Sorry, whoa, 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 calm down guys, seriously. I'm not sure you can, um, teleport across that gap there, I think that's a bit too far for us, so I think we're gonna have to, oh, go back, um, this way, and then, can I go, no, that, that's not going well, uh, so we can't go that way, those guys are dead because I killed them. Um, what I was going to say is this reminds me a lot of, uh, the, the Studio Ghibli film Laputa, uh, Castle in the Sky, which is a really cool movie, by the way, um, and has these amazing sort of soldier robot type dudes. Okay, so it looks like that's just there for looks, and I can't actually, don't actually need to go that way. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, I'm kind of, ooh, oh wow, I love that. You can see there's actually an animation about stepping out into the void, you can't actually, oh, yes you can. So you can actually step out into the void, but you actually stop before you do, so that's really handy. Um, that, that's actually going to come in really usefully. Um, I don't know if I can make it across there. Oh, I almost made it across there. Yes. Ah, that looks... Huh, okay. did it right that time. There doesn't look to be much else here. There's got to be a way to go somewhere here. Um, it's suggesting I heal myself, which is probably not a terrible idea. There's got to be a way to go that I've missed. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on a second. I, I did miss it. It's here, isn't it? So we go that way. Okay, yeah. I'm getting the hang of this um, sort of dash teleportation thing. It's... Whoa, okay, so... So, the combat's really interesting because it's, you can't just mash the button, it, like, if I hit the button there, you've really got to time all that. Ooh, that looks so cool. 
And there's all this sort of broken machinery and technology around. I really like that. And these skeletons, which we can just cut our way through. Oh, don't do that. Bad things happen when we do that. We need to do that with a gun. Okay, well remember that from now on. Shoot those things down with the gun. Um, have to remember we've got the gun, actually, because it's... Yeah, it's not... Oh. Oh, hang on. I think I was supposed to land on that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, and I think I should probably heal. But I'm running low on health, so healing may not be... Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, so one thing I've figured out is that the distance you teleport forward is based... There is a maximum distance, but otherwise it's based on how close the next nearest thing you're going to hit is. So it changes contextually. Uh, so that that's important to know. Wow, this this looks like a pretty area. Of, feels like it might be some kind of ancient ruins type zone. As we go up here, and through around here. Let's see if we can't achieve something in this video anyway. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to keep playing this game. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure I even should tag this as episode 1 of a Let's Play, because I don't know if it's going to be. Is that friend or foe? It is friend, and it's telling us that... We should go... There. There's a monster there. Right, I understand. I got you. I am totally on board with the idea that we should probably not go there just yet. We'll go this way anyway. Okay, so there was a monster there, and... Ooh, hello, cutscene. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, ninjas. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to, we need to deal with these ninjas. We need, oh, we need to deal, deal with this situation. Okay, those guys down. Wow, the sword. That sword does not mess around. Oh, get close. Oh, get close, get wrecked. Got ya. Okay. Okay, so, things we've learned. The sword does not mess around. That does a lot of damage. The gun, on the other hand, not so much. So it's one of those things where your sword is definitely way more powerful than your gun. Um, which is not the most realistic weapon scenario, of course, but uh, we'll forgive it because it's this kind of a game. And it probably will be very fun. This place looks so good. The colours. Oh. Oh, these colours. I tell you. This is such a good game. I've been playing this game literally since I started the video. I haven't played this before. I, I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Where, where else am I going? Um, that's a face. I've just noticed. That is a face. Can I go in that face? I don't know if I should find out. Oh, hang on. I was supposed to go this way, aren't I? I'm missing stuff because... See the ruin in the water there? Can you... That, how cool does that look? It's just like fading in the water. Um, but yeah, it's... I, I suppose the vibe... Uh, ooh, hey, what's, what's going on here? That's a waterfall? And that's a thing. Wow. Holy crap. This game. Oh. Can I go that way? Yes, we can. Cool. Okay, so we can go down here. That gets us to here which gets us into here. Um, that thing thinks we should look at stuff. Oh, there's a button there. What's that? It's just a box. Oh, it's a lift. Oh, we're going down. Okay. Uh, so this will be interesting. This will be quite interesting. Um, oh, it's this music. Whoa, look at that. See, the Super Nintendo can never do this. And like I say, visually, I think it more resembles something like... The Super Nintendo is all about... It has a very specific colour palette. A lot of the classic consoles have very specific colour palettes. You can look at a game a lot of the time and tell what system it's running on just by its colour palette. Like NES games have a particular look. Oh, this isn't good. The Super Nintendo very much has a very particular look. has this very bright colour palette. Um, and the Mega Drive has a different colour palette. You can really tell the difference between a Super Nintendo and a Mega Drive. Anyway, we'll go over this way, uh, and yeah, and this game looks kind of like, the, the colour palette is not either of those things, it's not a Super Nintendo or a Mega Drive, it's different, very different, um, and it's very much its own thing as we go up here. I really don't know where I'm going what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm finding places and going there and figuring it out, and I think we're on a bridge, was this a place we saw before? 
Oh, this is the other side of that crazy waterfall thing. Ah, okay. Cool, let's pick that up. That looks like another one of those things that we needed to buy the thing. Uh, I think I figured out how the currency works too. We can do this too to move faster. I imagine if you're going to speed run this game, you do that a lot. Uh, so, yes. Okay, it's a warp point. So that means, I guess, we can walk from there to anywhere else if we want to walk. So, yeah, so what that means is that I can bring up the map uh, anytime I want. And, yeah, and that's the same with that warp point there that we activated. We can just select them and walk back. That's really nice, especially if this game is going to involve a lot of backtracking. Having that kind of a warp feature is going to be really useful. Uh, Ah, uh, hang on, there must be a button or something around here that I need to activate uh, to bring that down. So imagine it's in here. So we'll go up this way and see what's going on here. God, oh, this game. Hang on a second. Hello. Uh, there were strange rat people, mice people, a lot, lot of animal people in this game, I'm noticing actually. They all got entangled and there was a lot of blood and the strange frog people moved in and it was not very nice. Um, I guess is what they're trying to say. Bad things happened. Okay, so th I think that might actually be a dead mouse. Um, anyway, uh, so this is some kind of channel. I was looking for a button in here, or some kind of way of interacting. I don't know, do you, do you have more to say? No, they, they don't ever seem to have more to say. Okay, so that's that seeing a button. I'm really not feeling like there's more here than I can already see. Uh, but I think there is more area uh, around. Ah, yeah, we can go this way. All right, okay. So we'll go this way. Whoa. Down here. And we'll go down here. And into here. We'll see what's going on in there. Uh, I'm going to have to call this a video shortly because I'm running a little bit short of time. Had some major video recording disasters today because I've been trying out. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Been trying out some uh, new processes for getting videos done, and uh, they have not worked out. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to solve that problem, but I have some plans, some contingencies. In fact, recording this video is one of my contingencies in case uh, things don't work out. So what that means is this may or may not go up on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, but it also means that I need to interact with this, which takes us down here which is a lift. Oh god, this looks so good. Even these lifts look good. Everything looks good. I could imagine playing this on an Atari Lynx. Actually, now that I think about it, Atari Lynx is almost, I think, the, the sort of level of maybe not quite. There's a lot too much animation and a lot of those sort of um, 3D visual effects, like the, the shading and the lighting and stuff, is not 2D. Uh, no, that wasn't. Let's go this way. Interrupt that. Which is a health thing. Yeah, that's what we needed. Oh, I just realized that I might be... Oh, he looks like fun. Okay, that's why we have that. So I've got to remember... Oh, jeez. i don't. I, I got to be smart with these buttons, man. Ow, 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 ow. We need to heal. Oh, whoa, this guy does two hits. Ow. Got to heal. Oh, I healed. I swear I healed. Oh, boy. Oh, things did not go well. Okay. Oh, that's what that indicates. Uh, okay, so... So the checkpoint is not bad. That's cool. But we're now in a situation where... We're, we're in a situation where I need to work out how to deal with this guy. Oh, he has a health bar. Oh, I get it. Okay, I, I understand. Right, need to heal. Oh, jeez. And we just lost, like... I healed. Because these guys do not mess around. You can heal, and there's no, um, there's no invincibility um, to the healing. I need to be a lot faster with that healing and recovering, by the way. Don't use the gun. The gun was a waste of time and ammo. Yeah. Oh, no, the gun actually did one damage to him, so. So we can probably gun uh, the small guy down, because that will kill it and say, ah, that's what was hitting us. Big explosions. Oh, whoops. Uh. Oh, I nearly got him too, and I need to... Oh, that was a big risk. That was a huge risk, because now I need him. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, these guys do not mess around. I've run out of healing, so we 
you need. Oh, there's two of them! Holy crap, we're not gonna make this. Okay. Um, I am gonna leave the video there, though. Um, so, uh, it was fun. And I had a lot of fun, and I don't know if I'm gonna continue with a Let's Play of this game, but certainly am gonna keep playing it. This is fantastic. I'm loving every second of this so far, so, uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> I love that. There's a... They go into a resting pose there. That's really cool. Um, we'll see how we go, and, uh, we'll... Yeah. Um, definitely recommend it though, uh, based on what I've played so far. This looks like a really fun game, so uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.